Hey, Poke Dad Fan Club, it's me, Poke Dad, and today we are doing a um, deck battle showing off the Yamega Vespaquin deck. And um, I wanted to just take a moment to uh, kind of go over this deck, uh, show you uh, how it plays, and in this case, we're playing against Greninja Break. So we have a pretty good uh, favorable matchup in the fact that we hit for weakness, but shadow stitching can be very troublesome for us. Uh, shutting off our Yomega Breaks abilities and Yomega's ability. So uh, we have to rely on Vespaquin kind of on this one. This was a pretty epic match. It kind of shifted back and forth a couple times. Um, I've already recorded it and I'm just doing the narration over it uh, at the other end. Uh, on the back end, I should say. And uh, so anyway, they're starting off, and basically Greninja's idea at the beginning is they want to get a Talonflame um, with energy on it, get a Froakie down, and then hopefully they can get into a Frogadier for next turn. Um, and that's pretty much all they really want to do. They want to try to um, use Frogadier's attack so that he can water duplicates. Uh, a couple times now I had a kind of a conundrum here because judge is my only draw supporter here and I really didn't want to use that um, if at all possible so I went ahead and grabbed another unknown so that I'd have uh, if nothing at worst case scenario if I did have to judge um, I could um, you know I'd still have two other cards on the back end of the judge uh, if at all possible. Go ahead and grab a Shaman here. I did discard that special charge, which fortunately it didn't come, it didn't hurt me in this match, but I hate starting with that early. And I'm kind of looking at this and I, mean, I wish I had a forest so I could go ahead and get the Yamega going. So I went ahead and I dug for the forest. And it's probably a bad move. I probably should have end first and then saw what I got on the back end because I did not grab a forest. And so all those cards I just drew end up going right back in. So that was probably a little bit of a misplay there. Um, and really all I get is a Vespaquin and two Sycamores and an Ultra Ball. So I'm going to Ultra Ball a Vespaquin away and a Sycamore. I'm going to grab a Combi here so that I can attach energy because I've got two energies and... Uh, that's really not ideal, especially since we already got rid of the special charge. So I want to go ahead and put that energy down. And uh, again, we didn't really get a whole lot. So we we're kind of behind the eight ball in this matchup already. Um, and they're probably going to get a water duplicates off, which is not good for us. Uh, but we're still okay. We're not, uh, we're not dead here. Uh, but it's right now it's say the position favors my opponent. Um, because I didn't get a knockout on turn one or even put any damage on that Talon Flame. Um, anyway, so we're going to attach to the Shaman. We might be able to use that to get the Shaman off the board later on in the match. And we do hit Forest, so we get uh, a pretty decent hand here. We can evolve into Yamega and you straightway into Yamega Break. I've got four cards in hand, but what I like to do is I want to go ahead and uh, yeah, and so I go ahead and barrier break here, take a knockout on that um, Frogadier. So we are one prize, and it would have been nice if we could have been up two prizes or at least had a bunch of damage on that um, Talon Flame there. Looking probably at the deck to see how many Pokemon I have in the discard pile. I have three right now. So uh, they go ahead and evolve into Greninja. Attach an energy to Greninja, but they just arrow blitz here, and that's probably a good move because uh, they do realize I'm, you know, they're weak to me. And even though the Greninja probably didn't wasn't going to put a bursting balloon on, um, it probably just made sense to do it that way. So they're probably grabbing a um, Greninja break and maybe a supporter for next turn. That's what I would probably do and I kind of do something different this turn uh, I'm not sure that it was the great greatest move here I might have even misplayed a little bit there went ahead and play the combi down attached an energy to it 
and a farewell letter here. And I, I, I guess what I'm thinking here, I probably could have Lysandered something up and taken a knockout, but instead I judge here. And I think I'm trying to get whatever they got from the Arrow Blitz out of their hand and put them down to hopefully four dead cards. And I, what I do here, kind of, I think what I'm thinking is um, I go ahead and wonder a lot because I want that to be out of the game for later. Um, so I retreat into the Shaman. I want to get the Shaman off the board so I can reuse it maybe for later. I know I'm not going to take a knockout on the Talonflame anyway. Um, so I think I just wanted to put some damage on the board. Get the Shaman off the board so that it can't, you know, Giant Water Shuriken it twice and take it, take it out of the game. So his next move is probably going to be, uh, if he was able to get the Greninja break, then that would probably be the best move for him. And he is able to get the Greninja break. So um, he's probably, if he has the energy, he'll giant water sugar. And he puts a bursting balloon. That's actually, I think, a mistake in this in this position. Um, he take he knocks out the combi. So he takes a prize one out at five prizes each. And um, he attaches an energy to his Greninja in the back. And then he shadow stitches. So he shuts off my abilities. That's probably a good move. Fortunately for me, though, I have Pokemon Ranger in hand. So we'll go ahead and probably play the Ranger down. And... Uh, I'm thinking that I can attack here, but I can't actually uh, because I don't have, I'm not down to four cards. And I'm thinking, oh no, Ranger didn't work, but it, it did work. It, uh, you can see, remove all the effects of attacks on each player's Pokemon. And, but it did work just fine. So I went ahead and Shaman here to uh, draw a couple more cards, see if I could, um, you know, draw into something helpful. And here I had a, a situation where, what do I do? I really want to go ahead and get that Vespaquin going. Um, and this kind of was a risky play, but at the same time, it paid off. Instead of grabbing Vespaquin, because I was afraid he might giant water shirk it and take out my other combi. So I wanted to go ahead and have a Vespaquin in play. But if I play the Vespaquin, I don't have four cards in hand. So my thought is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to... Shaman again, draw back up to six, and hope that I can get uh, play a couple of these cards. And sure enough, it does work out for me. I'm able to play the Revitalizer here, and I'm able to grab a Combi and a Vespaquin. I'm able to bench them, and since the Forest is still in play, I'm able to go ahead and get right up to a Vespaquin, and then I'm able to play the other Vespaquin. So now I have two Vespaquins ready to go, which is really good, especially with Greninja. And I know that because he's got a Bursting Balloon here, I'm going to knock him out, but he's also going to knock me out. And so that puts three Pokemon into the discard pile, which then allows my Vespaquin to even become stronger, and I'm able to pump them up. But the big thing is I'm able to get Greninja Break off out of the, the battle here. I put up uh, Vespaquin because, again, I think he's probably going to just Aero Blitz here. There's no Yomega to turn the, the ability off of. And so he doesn't want to just put his Greninja up to let it get sacrificed by a Vespaquin. So he grabs two cards. And so I play, play a little proactive on this one. Um, I see that he... Um, uh, didn't attack with Greninja, and he doesn't have another Greninja ready to go. So I can go ahead and Lysander up the Greninja, take a knockout on it, and then he's still just stuck pretty much with having to use, um, Arrow Blitz, or he can put up another, maybe he'll get a Greninja, but he won't have Greninja Break in play, and that's the key thing. is, And we're already hitting for 180 because that Yomega Break went, um, down 
we do grab another combi which is wonderful in this position um, and right now we're just really sitting pretty good uh, he does evolve into Greninja and he could um, Moonlight Slash or he could Shadow Stitch but none of the, neither of those really helps him a great amount um, he does something actually a little bit better and it actually um, kind of swings the game back kind of to a 50-50 match once again for a brief time um, and so what he does is he grabs a Froki and he's gonna actually bubble me and uh, bubble I think in Greninja is one of the strongest attacks uh, again it, it's a 50-50 so you're putting a risk out there but 50-50s aren't necessarily a bad thing and if the the you know he's already kinda of behind in this match so if he can take this risk and it gives him a chance to catch up a little bit then it's worth it and so he does and he actually hits the head so the the risk pays off for him and I'm now paralyzed I don't play any switching cards because I've just got free retreaters and most of the time cards that do paralyze like um, if you think about I don't know, Venusaur EX, Mega Venusaur, or um, Mega Ampharos, or, or something like that. Most of those cards are going to knock me out anyway. So I'm not really worried about Paralysis, but in this case, it kind of helped him. Fortunately, we were able to get another Vespaquin going. Uh, so we've got three Vespaquins now, and he's only got the one Greninja break. And I think he plays, I'm not really sure what he does here. Um, he does go into the Greninja break, and if he had a giant water shuriken, he might have waited till after he sycamored here before he went into the Greninja break, because I don't think he draws into the energy. And if he could have giant water shuriken that Vespaquin on the the uh, bench, and then done a Moonlight Slash to the Vespaquin on the active, um, he would have at least had a pretty good chance here especially since he's got the bursting balloon however um, he wasn't able to hit the energy so it leaves me with three Vespaquins in play now right now I'm kinda thinking to myself should I go ahead and sycamore and in hindsight I probably should have sycamore here uh, because I should have been getting thinning my deck out in case an in comes but I was also thinking hey if he brings up the talon flame again and tries to get uh, a um, another Greninja out then I want to be able to Lysander up that last Frogadier before it even has a chance now again the bursting balloon um, knocks me out but in this case it's so worth it because the Greninja break sets him back so many turns to knock that out so I'm okay here um, but I probably should have sycamore in this case. That would have gotten a lot of those Vespaquins. And even the forests can kind of be troubling here. Uh, but I really don't need the forests anymore. So I could, I can just, I should have just sycamore them all away. And I'd have probably still had some VS Seekers left. And I know there's at least one more Lysander in the deck. But I don't. And sure enough, he does end me. He ends me down to two. The good thing though is because of the bursting balloons that I've been taking, uh, no, he's been t taking knockouts from, he only gets three. So, uh, and then he plays the rough seas and he's gonna just arrow blitz here. So, um, we're still in good position here. Um, we can know that we can take the knockout on the Talon Flame. Uh, but it'd be really nice if we could knock out the Greninja and just finish the game off. We hit a forest, so we, uh, take that down unknown here and I do I have to be honest I get kinda lucky off of this top deck from the unknown um, but we I still think we would have been in a winning position regardless so we top take the Lysander we just take out the Greninja and with all him all he has left is Talonflame we're able to retreat into our Vespaquin with energy and be revenge and hit for weakness, take a knockout, and even if he does uh, hit me with Talonflame, he's not going to be able to take a knockout. 
with it against this uh, Vespaquin. And so I think he sees the writing on the wall here. Uh, he does try to put a few last little maneuvers in, but it, it's not going to work. And so uh, we pretty much end up winning. It'll we'll, You'll see the, him concede here in just a moment after this ace trainer. But anyway, guys, I hope you like the Yamega break Vespaquin deck. I still like it. And even though Karen's out there, it's not played much, so I think it's underappreciated. So anyway, guys, I hope you like this. Hit like, subscribe, and uh, and comment below for me. Tell me what you think of Yamega break. Anyway, talk to you later. Pokedad signing off.